I was born on the wild side. One foot in the flames and the other trying to walk the line. Can't say I never saw it coming, I can see the warning signs. Mama always said I was born on the wild side. I guess Mama was right. Cause when the clock strikes midnight, gonna ride the lightning, feel the thunder. Till the darkness pulls me under Gonna fly on wings of fire Breathing good, Lord, lifts me higher Singing, oh, when they call me home Singing, oh, when they call me home Hey guys, so we made it to British Columbia. We're in Fernie here in our hotel. Um, been a long day, but... Got checked into the hotel, went and had dinner, and just got back, jumped in the shower, gonna brush my teeth and uh, get to bed here quick. We got an early morning, meeting our guide here at the hotel, um, and then we're gonna follow him up, load up the horses, and head into the wilderness. So we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. To start off the morning of day one, we woke up and had some breakfast at the hotel lobby. Got all dressed up to go meet our guides in the parking lot of the hotel at 8 a.m. We then followed them out to base camp where the horses and mules were. We went and shot rifles, made sure everything was still zeroed after the long drive and all the traveling. Loaded up all our stuff on the pack horses and saddled up the mules. Then we had about a two-hour ride into our camp we'd be hunting out of. It was a beautiful ride up over a pass and into the main valley. Some of the most breathtaking and beautiful country I've ever been in. And I can't Here's wait to go back Here's a video of our day. initial arrival in the camp. You can see the horse corral and the cabins kind of out in the distance. Followed here is a little cabin tour. Just got the front porch out there. Nice little covered area. Tie up your boots. And as you walk in, have a bed right by the stove. Got a little table bench bunch of firewood chairs and then back here you've got double bunk beds bench shelves and not shown but a little outlet so you could charge stuff at night there's a better picture of the front room and in the back a picture of our cabin we stayed in sign on the cook cabin guides cabin and there's a picture of our camp for day one we just rode in the camp got everything settled had a great dinner, hung out, and just talked, and kind of got a game plan together for the next day. So day two, our first day of hunting, we woke up, had some great breakfast, saddled up the horses and mules, and rode off towards a basin where Ryan had seen some goats while he was out elk hunting. After we'd glassed this basin really well, we decided there was no more goats in there and decided to work up the ridge to the next basin. As we did, the snowstorm hit. Well guys, first day, seeing probably 20 nannies and uh, one small billy back there that you guys saw. Um, just came dumping snow on us and no visibility, so we came in and hunkered down. We got a nice fire going. Um, the sun's trying to poke out, visibility's up, so we've been glassing this basin and the next one over, um, but not turning anything up yet. I guess there's been a couple good billies in here, so hopefully find one of those here soon. Um, with all the snow, a lot of this is going to be filmed on the phone, um, so sorry, but not going to be much camera work, um, let's just too risky to lose the camera as wet as we've been getting um, but if we get on one I'll break the camera out and get some better quality footage so I'm gonna glass a little bit more here and go warm up my hands by the fire so catch you guys later
Well guys, hunt for day two's come to a close. Um, saw the one young Billy with the pro corn, pretty cool. Um, wish he was bigger, but it is what it is. He'll be a cool goat for somebody one day. Um, saw a bunch of nannies and kids just riding in. Um, and then once we got up into the basin, we saw two nannies and two or three kids. Um, so, the goats are there, we just gotta find the right one. Um, gonna, I got the fire going here in the cabin, got the gators hung up, I need to get my jacket and other stuff hung up and start drying stuff out for tomorrow's hunt, so I'm gonna get going. Our second day hunting started off with about a three hour horse ride back into a new basin we hadn't been to yet. Ryan spent the whole month of September up here elk hunting, so he had a pretty good clue of where the goats were. He knew there had been a pretty good one hanging out in the basin we were headed to, so it was just hoping he was there. We ended up spotting another goat from the trail, I'll insert here, on top of a big cliff that ended up dropping off into the back side of the cliff into the basin we were going. So now we had a good feeling there'd be two goats there waiting. We ended up sneaking out onto this rock face where we got pinned down for over an hour. Then we were able to finally make our move about 50 yards further to close it down to just over 600 yards. The nanny that was above this billy ended up feeding down into a big flat grassy patch at about 400 yards. We were hoping the billy would read the script and do the same thing for us because if you can get a closer shot, why not take it? We were going to wait him out. This stubborn old Billy wouldn't get out of his bed. He sat there chewing his cud for over an hour, finally got up, fed for about 15 minutes, went back down, laid in his bed for the next three hours. We decided the next time he got up, we were taking the shot. It was well within our range, so we were going to take it. This is how we sat for a little over four hours, but at least the view was as beautiful as it gets. And there were some good conversations had as we hid behind the rock face, waiting for the old Billy to finally get up. As we sat waiting on this old stubborn goat to finally get up, I looked to the right and saw that we had an uninvited guest at the party. This big grizz was digging up what I'm guessing is roots, maybe some grubs, I'm not really too sure. Luckily, he ended up catching our wind and off he went. The only problem was he ran down into the trees where our horses were tied up. The old goat finally got up and it was time for us to make the most of our opportunity. Dropped him. Dead goat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, he's coming to the street. Not be much left to him, is there? Look. Stop. Can't stop. <laughs> well, you don't have to hike up there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy shit. Wow, we don't have to go out. He's not going to live through that, is he? No, he's dead in one minute.
I left the video of the fall in this video as it is part of goat hunting. The country these goats live in couldn't possibly get any more rugged. Nasty Falls is just a part of it, unfortunately. Dad put in the work over this summer to make up a nasty load for his rifle just for this hunt so he could put a perfect shot on a goat and have it dead before it even hit the ground. And that's exactly what he did. This goat didn't feel a single thing and had absolutely no clue what hit him. The lights just turned off. The pictures and videos do absolutely no justice to the sheer ruggedness and beauty of the country these goats call home. It is just completely amazing to me that they can live in a place just as nasty and cold and rugged as it is with that said it is by far the most beautiful place i've ever been and as i said earlier i can't wait until the day i get to come back after a long pack out we made it back to the horses and then had a three hour ride back to camp we made it back to camp around 3 a.m had a quick dinner and went to bed the next day we woke up fleshed out the goats salted the hides and just hung out around camp the next day we packed up and left well guys last couple hundred yards in the camp here uh, this hunt was an absolute dream. Um, amazing guides, amazing people, amazing food. Most beautiful country I've ever hunted in um, and been in. Just an amazing place. Um, we'll definitely be back. Um, it'll be a little while, but definitely gonna have to come back here soon. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and we'll catch you on the next one. Said I was born on the wild side One foot in the flames And the other trying to walk the line Can't say I never saw it coming I can see the warning signs My mom said I was born on the wild side I guess my